We're heading to Toronto Tea Festival. That's what she's th trying to say, I think. Yes, we're heading. <laughs> we just finished packing, so I'm still a little bit zigzagging my brain, running oh, yeah. through all the stuff. But uh, we got a packed in the back. And uh, we're just hoping that it doesn't slide and... Um, shift while we drive it should be all right I, yeah I'll try to do a good job yeah today is a pretty do you think that today is a pretty good day last time last uh, last uh, year we got a snowstorm so At this the is end. The, yeah so, so this after is four better. hours of driving or three hours yeah, we hit yeah. about a one hour of yeah we saw cars snow. spinning on the ice yeah. anyway so should be that okay today. so today is better than that but the forecast said there's a freezing rain and it's uh, 11 30 that's pretty good one degree yeah uh, really nice. I'm really excited. Eating in Toronto. Eating in Toronto and tomorrow. And a tea festival, yeah. obviously. Super <laughs> stoked about that. But also, I don't want to say equally, uh, but I'm also stoked about eating in Toronto. Yeah. Tea job. Mmm. Mmm. You're right. Mo. 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 Taste of Ching Yun. Check it out. <laughs> Let's get going to Toronto. What do you think? I'm going to put all my seat up. I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna punch in. What's our first stop? Taste of tea. We're gonna go get some cold noodles and um, more. So <laughs> My <good>. Chinese accent. <laughs> Lamb. Oh, that's when the cell phone automatically shut down because I was saying that my Chinese accent is getting worse. Yeah, we should tell people what the heck that is. That is a delicious lamb. It's basically a lamb burger. And we're gonna show that. It really we're gonna show you. Day. We're gonna show you. It's so good. Oh, we gotta get going. <laughs> this is our lone drive must have a little humidifier initially i got made fun of yeah i want to explain to people because I, I think they're going to make fun of you too i made fun of her because this seemed ridiculous a humidifier in the car i'm telling you that dry eye dry nose you get on a long drive it absolutely fixed it i thought the car would fog up like crazy you can manage it you just turn it manage the cycles but it's so much more comfy for long drive consider it okay especially if you're a Actually, I bet you maybe some of the long haul people who drive long distances, maybe for a career or whatever, I bet you they've already discovered that. It works. Right. We also have the air air purifier going uh, because we used to do uh, eating in the car when we were in during COVID in Toronto because there wasn't any dying. So we got this, we could eat a Sichuan food or even Thai food in a car. And when we're done, the car don't have that smell. So both are must have for us to travel. <laughs> and binoculars. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we are at Taste of uh, Ching Yun, mm -hmm. and this is the mo I was talking about in Ottawa. It's basically a lamb burger. Look at that. That's all lamb. <laughs> and now I'm going to eat it. And the bread is so good. Yeah. Mm. Juicy. Juicy lamb. Nicely seasoned. Lightly seasoned, okay? It's not super spicy or anything, just mm, really good. Okay, bye. I got the saucy one. So this is the saucy one. Is pork, a, right? Yeah, pork. Saucy pork should be a little bit spicy. Spice level, seasoning. It's not overly spicy at all. Is this spicy even? I don't feel like it's overly How's <clears> the spicy. flavor? Juice report. Juice is okay. Um, How's that bread? I like it. It's, what? Bread? And you, so Phil is a huge bread lover. Me, I'm like, ah, you know, bread is bread. I don't hate it. It's uh, actually quite thin and it's slightly crispy because it's warmed up mm -hmm. when we uh, order it. It's made to order. You wait for these a little bit. So it's really lovely. I love my, I love my, it's very nice flavor. I love it. It's that North East. Northwest flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. We're gonna eat now. Bye. Okay, in the second course is uh, Liang Pi. 
if we can ever get to it. I'm getting there. There we go. There we go. With sauce. Looks pretty and good. And sauce. I guess I put all. Uh, test the spicy one. Make sure it's not this, overly spicy. That's no, a, that's a gluten ball. Oh, glutinous. Yeah, glutinous ready things. The nilang pea here and then cucumber and some bean sprouts. Yeah, we're going to have to put some of that for sure. Not super hot. Yeah? Not super hot at all. Oh, that's nice. Oh boy, that's going to be really good. Did you try that? I think that's a fried, like a very young kind of... Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm all in. I don't need to try anymore. You only had a one bite. Patient, patient. I'll oh. try. No, I'm telling myself to be patient. It's hard. It's really hard. Yeah. My mouth is watering. Yeah, and put it all. Put it all, right? Yeah. But don't rush. Give it a good stir. Don't listen to people who rush you. Yes. <laughs> uh, next stop we're going to is um, Yunnan, place. Yunnan place. I heard a great review about it. It previously was a restaurant in London. And Ontario or England? Uh, Ontario. I moved here. So yeah, we're gonna order a lot, a lot. And we're gonna see. Horrible news. It's closed. See right here? They have the lock on the door and it's dark. The sign was lit up. We even paid for parking. Oh, you're right. We gotta <laughs> find a backup restaurant now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hmm. So we had a dilemma. The the Yunnan place was closed. I was really hopeful for that place because... Well, we had a whole cascade of effects, right? Because we we had a, you know, quick, the mo, which you saw, so good, the noodles. Mm -hmm. But those don't preserve. Those are really juicy and fresh, have to be eaten right away. The next meal was we were going to stock up on breakfast for tomorrow and Sunday. Yeah. So that restaurant being closed made it really tricky to find a restaurant on the fly now because we didn't really have a backup plan yeah so poor jen is looking frantically for a restaurant with all these because criteria it needs this to is be not a eating weekend usually we make a comprehensive yeah. list this i was just looking one oh yeah. that's pretty get a good. couple that's... spots we're gonna go we we'll grab our stuff and off to the tea festival but we're pretty happy now we've we hit a dessert place to just make everything better mm -hmm. but I yeah so spicy. tricky right because you had to find a place that has for, and it's now evening, so everything's busy. So we didn't want to wait in line. And anyway, we're gonna have some dessert and just take the edge off with some dessert. We gotta think about other things for breakfast. We know only we brought fruit from house, right? Yeah. We have bread. Yeah, we That's need something it. a little more substantial. that has gotta hold us for the day. What about the fried chicken? Oh, but it would be cold. Really yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna have some of that later, about... though. We'll figure it out. Let's fake re reopen this. As you know, I already opened it. Ba 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 ba! It's like a burger cream, cream burger. We can't see the cream. Oh, oh, here, here, this, this way. Look at that. Can I poke at it? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. People. Why not? Oh yeah, poke at it. Oh, is it good? Ooh. Huh. I'm expecting it's going to be sweet, obviously, but not super sweet. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's take a bite, take a I bite. don't think it's just Good luck a taking a bite. Cream. Oh my god, how are it you going like to do it? It looks like somebody smell like that, no? <laughs> so, like a Cheshire cat, you mean? Feel better? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm having a bite. Here, switch. It's still going, I didn't even pause. Oh, we're crashing down. All right, my turn. You got the bottom. I should go for the top, but I'm gonna get too dirty. Sweet, just make everything better. I got some on my nose. Nose. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna have another one. Right, mm. and it's whipped cream, but it's not just whipped cream. Some things, like it has whipped cream, but it has something else too. I don't know. What did Bruno call that? It's like um. Stabilized whipped cream, but there's a much more elegant name for it. 
Yes, <laughs> there was. No, no, it's um, creme angelée or something. I don't know. It's stabilized whipped cream. That's what I think it is. Right. That's handy when your nose are not so far. <laughs> That's how you can never get whipped cream on your nose. I don't have enough nose to dip it. <laughs> All right, here we are. Last one. This is going to be a blast. Doors haven't opened, but they open in like what, one minute? Soon, yeah. yeah are you excited? Very excited. Um, I'm a little bit nervous too. <laughs> Same here. Best tea fest in the whole world. Come to the Toronto Tea Fest every single year. You're right. Are you overdoing it? Okay, I suggested that. You're right. We no, have no, the jar. No, no, we did. I'll use this for the for the for the master. But last year we didn't. But master do... also have jar. Okay, okay. Well, maybe we don't need it. You're let's, right. Let's set it up and see how that works. Maybe we just put it there as a placeholder so people know where to put stuff back. Ah, good point, good point. You know, encourage good behavior. If you have some time when you're done, you can set up like two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're you ready? I was Look thinking that on the way in. The first load up, I'm like, it'd be nice if like we drop it off Friday night and we just come in and it's done. Yeah, I, honestly. Right? Without having to do a Friday show. I don't know how the audio is going to work, but we have a new development. We found out that we forgot two products. Both green cheese left in the fridge. <laughs> so it becomes online only. Uh, well, I have to say this is not the worst experience we had. We did American festival without any cheese. So people have to order online at our booth for that festival because of a shipping issue. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was going to yeah, say, I don't tell get... them we didn't forget it. <laughs> yes. We, it... we have to ship our products so we right. down south and they got stuck in a snowstorm. And then we also did this show years ago forgot our sign so i think we're pretty experienced with uh, forgetting things <laughs> and we're doing just embarrassment fun. is we made a comprehensive list suppose <laughs> We forgot to bring our own teacups, so I had to go beg for these ones from the front door. Whoops! We didn't get a chance to do much uh, video yesterday, and now Jen is doing her supreme tea tasting with a, a lucky crowd behind me. But uh, it's a little bit more mellow today. Still pretty crowded, but yesterday it was just packed with people, and hopefully we'll have another great day today. Having trouble staring at the camera. Here we go. Help yourself to the uh, jars if you want to open them up and smell the leaf. I'm just doing a little twist. All right, we're gonna do a little walkthrough at the Toronto Tea Festival. I'll show you what you would see if you were here. Sorry you weren't, or congratulations if you were. There's uh, Dave from Genuine Tea. And you can see, like, it's just, uh, it's real busy here. Not overly busy, but just perfect. And the tea vibe here is just one of the best tea festivals in North America. You've got tea from all over the world. Of course, we have Chinese tea. You saw the Pu'er booth over there. There's matcha places. Camellia's here. Hi, thanks for the mochi. Um, uh, Sri Lanka is here. I think last year Kenya was here. Maybe we'll see them. Well, maybe they're right there. 
Taiwan, of course, is here. I do miss David. I loved when he used to come. From Tillerman Tea, little shout out for their tea business. There was Tao, if you saw him go by. I mean, it's just an awesome festival. We got the selfie wall. Jen and I already grabbed a picture there. And here's our side. David's is here, so you know what I mean? You got like representation from the uh, high-end tea, commodity tea, grab-and-go tea, chai tea companies, herbal tea. But what you notice is there's not a ton of, you know, it's really tea focused. There's not a bunch of food. There's not a bunch of stuff that's not really tea related. Everything here is tea, tea, tea. And that's what the floor looks like here at the Toronto Tea Festival. Oh, there's Sue and Aaron. And we'll go back over to our booth and say hi to Jen. Okay, anyway, we're on uh, Dundas at Mama Bun having a breakfast after the Toronto Tea Fest. On Monday and oh my god this place is so good so good um, I don't know the style northern like Beijing -ish. northern -ish style delicious food all around really good oh. fresh bun I love the dough so soft mm, pork filled bun Megan Taimo um, some kind of mushroom and tofu soup soft 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 tofu really mm -hmm. silky anyway so what's the dilemma here so we've got six cream puffs from bloom right mm -hmm. and in fact we only have four left and we just ate a delightfully big breakfast mm. finishing with D Ja who is officially removed from our must visit list in Toronto food no longer the excellent fried chicken that it once was. That being said, the dilemma here now is I've got these cream puffs. I'm not stuffed. I'm not exploding full. I'm also not at all hungry. But these are cream puffs. These are not going to get better with time. So I think, I think we have to eat them. Mm. All right. Up next, the powdery one. How could I wait? Do you understand mm. my dilemma now? I don't remember the flavor of this one. I don't remember which one this is. Do you? Earl Grey maybe? I, don't know. I was gonna say Earl Grey too. I think this is the Earl Grey one. I'm gonna take a big... Well, it really has no? a mocha flavor, which they didn't, for sure didn't have a mocha one. Yeah, I'm gonna bite the big half here. I, know. I didn't like the strawberry one. Already oh, sweet, Jesus. Mm, I like the strawberry one. And at least it had strawberry. Quick note on the jasmine one. Phil feel like it was really weak on the jasmine flavor, which Very I weak. agree. Which, and you know, once, once you know jasmine flower, I realize there's music. Pause for now. Mm, pause the music, good one. Mm. Oh, that one was sloppy. But because good. we have a cell phone mic. I'm not sure how that works with the music mm -hmm, and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, not that I hate music. Uh, jasmine flower is a very potent flower. So I feel like there's a mini, 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 mini amount of a jasmine. I wish it was stronger. I could feel that, but it wasn't uh, very strong. So, but I love the sugar level of the jasmine one. Mm -hmm. This is really good, but it's not any of the flavors that were listed there. They got, they. I'm convinced they made a mistake. I'm looking forward to see what you have what? to say about they, this. One. They said they have a yuzu one, I think. This is not yuzu. Oh, what is no, that? It's very clear what it is. You're going to taste it. I'm going to flip the camera. You're going to give your assessment. Okay. Uh, we're, we're switching now. 
No, no, no. I really didn't like the strawberry one at all. That strawberry is what I would con call as a traditional dessert that I have two bite and I'm like, I'm done. I need coffee or I need tea, I need something. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm okay with that. Yes. I like, loved it. If you like a sweeter or something, it's delicious. Okay, okay, sip the tea and get on with this one. This one's very interesting. <laughs> No, I gotta know what you think about it because it's really com You will know if you're patient. Mm. You're like those dogs who ground. Okay, here we go. So weird. The powder. What's the aroma? Mmm, bitter powder. Yes. No, cream puff aroma. Well, that's not very elucidating. <coughs> oh. No, because there's powder. I, I know, have... but you knew there's powder, so you don't <coughs> breathe at that moment. Mocha. Yes. Coffee, chocolate, cappuccino. That's right. Absolutely. I think there was that. There so. was no cappuccino. No. No. <coughs> no. It, this was in the Earl Grey slot, I think. But it's cappuccino, 100% coffee. You 100% mm. nailed it. That's exactly. At a certain point, I'm trying to convince <coughs> myself that it's Earl Grey, and I'm like, there is no way that's Earl Grey. That is coffee. It's very clear coffee mocha. <coughs> Chocolate and choking. So, because usually I think the powder stays on that and they it get never wet does. and they stick Every with it. Every time you have that. Every really? single time. Every you time I believe you stick with it. It will never stick with it. Never breathe in when eating powdery <coughs> food. Most of it don't suck. I did a We're going to do a compilation. Motion. We'll do a compilation someday of all your choking on powdery foods and it'll be like, we'll make a song out of it like we do on YouTube. <laughs> What about that? <laughs> this is the next one. This could be Earl Grey. I'm gonna lick it. Okay. I think it might be the Earl Grey. Mm. Mm. Was that gross? I hope that wasn't gross. Okay. Earl Grey. Mm -hmm. How's that? Really good. One thing I have to say, I think they do this sort of loose whipped cream kind of texture, almost like not quite runny, but it's um, not. Not good lighting. Let me change it. Oh, yeah, let me try it. I don't know what to do. Yeah, this is better. Better. Okay, it's dark. I, I have to say, I don't. I don't hate it. I'm pretty sure they're doing it on purpose. It's a very good bakery. Like everything's really delicious. The, the, this Earl Grey one, by the way, is really good. But I, I just don't like that runny. I feel like it's a almost like a failed whipped cream. But whatever. It's just a that's a style. It probably have its own name. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's not failed whipped cream. Oops! I got it on my chin. We witnessed that. Mmm. Oh, you're gonna like this one. Oh, uh, maybe not. It's pretty sweet. Mm. I'm a little bit sweet out. That strawberry got me. You wanna take the a break? Jasmine was. We can a... finish the last two later. At least yeah, most of I them will be so. old. I think so. That that strawberry really. Oh, me. do you need to, me to finish the Earl Grey? No, obviously oh, okay, I'm okay. gonna eat that one. Okay, okay. I'll contain myself. Now it's time to clean the retainer after all that delicious food. Where are we? We're at Mr. Chestnut, Tian Tian Li's. So, oh, huh. this is to die for, okay? This is to die for. This is a free ad for it because I love it so much. Every time I come to Toronto, on the way into the city, I grab one bag. On the way out, we grab, today we grab five bags. That's usually how many I grab. Five. <laughs> five. One bag to eat on the way home, four bags to stay in the freezer, then we warm it when we eat it in the oven, which can mimic the free freshness of the chestnut. Just a little bit though. Yeah. Nothing is no, like this first bag. No, nothing comes this way, it's just to come out, it's, it's always warm and you crack it and you eat it. And first how how warm are healthy, these? Okay? Just first, how warm are these ones? It's really hot, like it's super really fresh. Hot. I have to like jiggle, jiggle, and uh, my finger is a little bit burned because I rush to open the first one because I cannot wait. Okay, first, 
This is not any nut. This is a small nut. Are the best in flavor. It's creamy. It's sweet. It has an intense、um, chestnut flavor. And you eat. And this,、uh, how do you call that? Stir fry? No, stir fry. Roasted. This is pan roasted, slow roast to get that all so released. It does need a little bit work, but it's totally worth it.、Mm. So you basically gotta crack it and peel it. It's not ready to eat. And if you eat those ready to eat ones, like you can get in supermarket, like a, a TNT have those, Costco sometimes even have those. No, 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 no. Those are bad chestnut. They don't taste anything like that. This you gotta eat that warm, and that warm chestnut flavor is just,、uh, it's just to die for. Like, you know, if I ever move to Toronto, I gotta be nearby, so that I can have this chestnut very frequent. It is so good, and and a、uh, mini tip because we were so lucky we got here, the batch just came out. This is not the best time to peel it. I'm just in a rush to. Eat it. Ideally, you give it five ten minutes. When it cools, when you peel it, it will be very easy. It will be the whole chestnut without the skin.、Mm. Right now, it's a little bit over the. And、heart. the shell will be a little bit crispy and easy to crack. Right now, it's a little、yeah. bit soft from the heat. Yeah, exactly. But well, it just tastes so good. Like if you never had a, this kind of fresh roasted chestnut. Any kind of none of other chestnut can duplicate this kind of aroma in your mouth. So, like it's. Mm. Just amazing! You gotta try it. If you're in Toronto, you have to try it. You just have to try it. Okay, that's it.